this got to stop. Mitch McConnell again caught in one of those moments. Here it is. Senator, you're up for election in three short years. What are your thoughts on it? I'm sorry, I had a hard time hearing you. That's okay. What are your thoughts on running for re-election in 2026? What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. That's uh, Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yes. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator. Penny. Yep. This is elder abuse. Those who are his handlers are allowing this to continue trying to hide this and hide that stage opportunities where he's not truly challenged. And even in their best efforts, they cannot hide the reality of where Mitch McConnell is health wise right now. Remember this one. Put up the picture full mass. He is the Senate Minority Leader. He's in charge of important things, important stuff. Republican out of Kentucky. So he appeared to freeze up again and was unable to answer a reporter's repeated question, very simple question. McConnell halted for about 30 seconds after he was asked if he would run for reelection. In 2026, this is the second time the 81 year old Republican leader has seemed to be unable to speak. Now you have to understand this is not the second time it has happened. This is the second time it has happened on camera, okay, on camera. At a press conference in Covington, a reporter posed the question to McConnell about running for reelection in 2026. As the Senator turned to face the audience, he stopped speaking and aide in a blue suit. Came up to McConnell and loudly asked, did you hear the question, Senator? McConnell opened his mouth a little and then closed it. The aide told the gathered media that they'll need a minute. And another came to escort McConnell away from the makeshift podium. That's according to NBC News. McConnell had been speaking for about 20 minutes before the episode. Aides had to repeat the questions. To McConnell multiple times. Apparently, on the ground, reporters did not ask questions about his lap. A spokesperson told NBC News that McConnell, quote, feels fine, which is great thing, a great thing to hear about someone with so much power over live. Leader McConnell felt momentarily lightheaded and paused during his press conference today, they told NBC News, adding that the senator will be seeking out medical attention. I've been lightheaded before. That's not what happened. So he, he was lightheaded twice. There's a cause and effect of being lightheaded. So blood pressure dynamic. So why was he lightheaded? Is there a doctor that can attest to these, well, let's just say acclamations from the camp? I want to remind everyone of something that happened in March to McConnell. In March, McConnell suffered a concussion according to the record and broke a rib after falling and hitting his head after a dinner event at a hotel. He did not return to the Senate for almost six weeks. Since he returned, he has appeared to walk more slowly and his speech has often sounded more halting. In other words, He could have a severe issue happening with him. But because he is their proximity to power, and because they're able to get what they want, 
possibly even manipulate him at this point to a significant degree. They keep him in power knowing he's a shell of his true self. Now, I don't like Mitch McConnell. I don't like his politics. I really, I detest the man, but I understand he's an elder, he's old, he's over 80. And the people who are pushing him as if he's going to somehow get it back together. Listen, you can hide all you want to hide. There are people who are on the other side of these damn policies that you're passing. And they're adversarial to communities who trusted you. Now McConnell, I believe you have enough faculty in you to say it's time to hang it up. I think you still have that. Sir, I encourage you to make a decision quickly while you still have the opportunity for the decision to be yours. All right, Jordan thoughts here. Yeah, this, this note from the doctor uh, saying McConnell's cleared for work is hilarious. They, they write, occasional lightheadedness is not uncommon in concussion recovery and can also be expected as a result of dehydration. I mean, like you say, we've now seen it twice in what, two weeks? And that's what we've seen on camera. It's it's not, it's, it's, it's sorry, it is safe to assume this has likely happened at other times, they all know it's happening. That's why they have a quick response to rush in and help him get him out of there. They know what's going on. I also wanna remind people of a story that came out in 2017, where a pharmacist in DC wrote about their time shadowing another pharmacist in the Capitol Hill area, where they were filling Alzheimer's prescriptions for members of Congress. Wow. It, they, they know these people have, some of them are developing Alzheimer's, some of them are senile, and no one's doing anything about it. And like you say, these people have power over us. And you have to also in this conversation include Feinstein, who is very, very clearly being propped up by not just her staff, but also as I think it was Politico a couple weeks ago reported, the Pelosi family. You know, they, they have worked very closely, including Pelosi's daughter, worked very closely with Feinstein, her family, and her staff to keep her in power because they think if she resigns early, Newsom will appoint someone like Barbara Lee. But they want who who is who is running for, for Feinstein's seat. They want Adam Schiff, a white guy, national security guy, uh, champion of the military industrial complex. They want Adam Schiff. They want to deprive one of the best <laughs> black women in Congress yep. that ever. I mean, there unfortunately there's not a big pool to pull from, but Barbara Lee is iconic, and they want to deprive her of her seat. And they think that if if they just drag this out long enough, Adam Schiff will win the election versus her getting the seat by appointment. Which again layers to that, but that's the situation with 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 Diane Feinstein, which is just truly abhorrent to watch play out. Yep, it's horrible. And I will say this, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong when a person develops Alzheimer's or any other condition because human bodies go through that. Dementia is a serious and debilitating disease. I watched my grandmother go through very tough. It doesn't get better just by osmosis, it gets worse. So there's nothing wrong with the part that says I'm a little bit not me right. And uh, it's time for me to move on. But the people around you, the people around you are supposed to help you make that decision. All right, uh, I guarantee you, if he stays, it's gonna be more, more moments like 